Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are on April 16th, 2020, the day to remembered as 10,000 subscribers and as well another CME. So thank you, all of the family members that have joined Morning Dew in the past three years. We have reached a milestone, 10,000 subscribers. Again, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I love you all. God bless, and hopefully you're all hitting the notification bell. Looking here at Lasko 2 image of the eruption that was sent off in the last few images here. So that is a CME. And it is from an incoming spot. So stay aware and prepared as we're looking here at our heliosphere, watching the effects. of our very quiet solar cycle 25 still upon us. We might not see much at all. Nothing much equatorial incoming, but we do have equatorial coronal hole, kind of a off and on stream here, trying to create in the southern hemisphere as well. but no earth-facing sunspots. Looking here at our activity from the CME on the northwestern limb here, you can see the plasma just erecting and whipping away. Amazing stuff, look at that. but we're still waiting for the full images here of the CME. So stay tuned to Morning Dew, because obviously tomorrow we'll be looking at these again, and we'll be able to see the full CME in action. Looking here at our solar wind speed, as we had a slight increase to 500, we're sitting at about 420. Earthquakes the last 24 hours. Now, would you look at this map? This is a very busy map, largest being early this morning, in Savannah Bight, Honduras, 6.0. Watching a lot of earthquakes here in California as well, in New Mexico, and 4.2 in Utah. So Utah still going after this North American plate event that's been happening. And around the world right now, we're looking at some pretty sizable earthquakes, 5.9 here in Burma, 4.4 China, 4.3. Tajikistan, this 4.5, that was yesterday, 4.2 here over here in Turkey, Kirkjek, and as well Italy with a 4.5, 10 kilometer depth, 4.6 here, middle of the Atlantic Ocean, and then the warned region, which I was talking about a few days ago, I said watch for seismicity to increase. And sure enough, it has 5.0, 5.4, 4.3, all down there in South Sandwich Islands as well. 5.1 there, Chile. So yeah, this was a warned region last week as those deep lower level and very strong low pressure systems were battering the coastline. Also looking over here, across the western parts of the Ring of Fire, very active, but so is the South Sandwich Islands. It's pretty sizable earthquakes there. Looking at the last seven days for earthquakes, a lot of activity, western parts of Ring of Fire recently, and as well as South America moving into Antarctica. So watch for an increase here, antipode to the South Sandwich Islands and as well, North American Plate, as we're still seeing all those shallow quakes. Watch for something bigger. Stay aware and prepared. Let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center here. Look at the most recent volcanoes being updated around the world. Starting here at Dakono, Dakono in Indonesia. As well, Krakatoa in Indonesia. I was looking at a small eruption on satellite imagery there. 
Sabincaya, Peru, as well as Sangay in Ecuador, Reventador in Ecuador, uh, Kashina Rebajima in Japan, Asosan in Japan, Popo in Mexico, And as well, there was a tsunami alert put out with the large 6.0, 6.3 tsunami warning, but there was no tsunami imminent. But definitely a very large earthquake for that area. 6.0, wow. Thoughts and prayers to everybody there. Hopefully, nobody was injured. Thoughts and prayers going out to people across Thailand, and the really dry parts of eastern India into Burma, Myanmar. They had 5.8 earthquake there today, but the fires doesn't seem to be any relief. And then overlooking North America, a little late season winter storm for Colorado and into parts of Wyoming. And then quite possibly even blanketing Nevada as it heads eastward. Still looking at major flood alerts all along the Mississippi. And we're not even into the spring rains yet. So stay aware and prepared. We do have some interesting Pacific lows that are trying to sneak in here on the west coast. So stay aware and prepared California. As another low is moving into you. And then there's another huge low just west of it coming in behind so we're going to be keeping an eye on that situation here let's look at the five day forecast brought to you by meteor earth meteor mike you guys can always download this app and get these cool images yourself i like the way that i can present them for you overlooking here home base calgary alberta as we're going to see some warm temperatures coming up later in the week but we're also going to see a temperature swing up and down roller coaster Maybe even some flurries overnight and then warm during the day. As it quickly moves eastward. And here's the Colorado low that will be moving eastward as well. Bringing snow straight across four states as it heads into the Atlantic. And then rips up the Atlantic seaboard. Also watching an extreme weather event for South Carolina, North Carolina. All of these southeastern states as a low develops that came straight out of the Gulf. And that's the one that Dan and I, from the Dew Crew in the live streams, we've been keeping an eye on. I found him the other night and it's still hanging out. Overlooking Europe, high pressure ridge building in, very nice and warm temperatures as a low pressure system comes in from underneath, fuels in some very warm African air. And look at that as it totally diminishes the low that was developing over Eastern Europe and parts of Finland. Overlooking Southeast Asia, as the low develops through the Korean Peninsula and affects Japan, parts of Northern Japan, with possible tropical forest-like winds and as well, torrential downpours with a low coming in behind it. Overlooking the Pacific, Pacific Ocean, five-day forecast shows this low spinning for the next five days. In the Pacific Ocean, you can see it gets stalled there, Aleutian, the Aleutian Islands, or sorry, yeah, the Alaskan Peninsula, sorry. Um, and it just gets stalled there with deep lower level trough. And that's what we've been talking about. The increased uh, depth and velocity of these low pressure and high pressure around the world is due to our compressed magnetosphere. Overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains, not much to talk about except for heavier regions. Northeast, Brazil, overlooking Africa, western parts of Africa, seeing a lot of pop-up thunderstorms, as I've also noticed an Atlantic low developing. So we're going to be keeping an eye on the Atlantic Ocean throughout the next few days. Could have an early massive tropical storm. It's a very strong low. Overlooking the Indian Ocean, parts of Pakistan, dry, Across Australia, seasonal. Cooler temperatures, of course, southeast parts and also Tasmania. 
low pressure system moving in later in the week bring a little bit of rain tropical cyclone here is about to fizzle out as it strangely heads back east it may even reform in the middle of the indian ocean i want to thank everybody for joining and watching today i'm going to leave you here looking at the northern hemisphere versus the southern hemisphere again thanks for 10,000 members much love to you all. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Please share this video today. Don't forget to smash that like button. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.